Hello, presentational speaking students. I hope that you're doing well and I hope that your families are doing well. Today, we are going to talk about a few things. But before I even get into this video, let me just start out by saying that you should have a notebook or out or some way to take notes during this video because I have an upcoming assignment for you that is going to require those notes. So please, please, please make sure that you're taking notes. Feel free to pause this video if you feel like it's necessary, but taking notes is going to be a requirement for this video. So first and foremost, I don't know if you have seen it yet, but Dr. Thomas has recently released, today actually, I believe, he released a uh, new schedule that is going to help us hopefully all manage the the ordeal that is law, uh, online instruction. So I want us to take a close look at that and I want to talk about what that schedule means for our class because I'm going to do everything I can to abide by it. Uh, at, now as far as my online office hours, uh, which have been traditionally Tuesday and Thursday, uh, I'll be talking more about those in just a few minutes. So listen up for that. Again, take notes on it, all right? So uh, first, uh, what else are we going to talk about today? Uh, I also wanna talk about what assignments that you have submitted and I especially need for us to talk about, or I'm going to talk about, the how the presentations for the informative speeches will work, how they'll take place. All right, so here, here, you can take a view of my notes here, right? So today, uh, have your notebook out, take notes for this video. We're gonna talk about the new schedule, we're gonna talk about assignments you should have submitted, and we're going to talk about thoughts on the presentations, how they'll work, how they'll take place, and today's quote-unquote assignment, all right? Let's take a close look at the email that Dr. Thomas sent out to parents. Uh, this has this schedule on it, and we will talk about what that means for our class. Oh, Anna, you were in it. All right, if you hear background noise, I'm sorry. My daughter is making herself something to eat. Uh, but she's going to try to be quiet, right, Anna? As quiet as possible. Thanks. All right, so this is an email, and there, I think there's also a Connect Dead message going out. Let me zoom in on this. Uh, please, if you are on your computer, then make it full screen. And if you are on your uh, mobile device, then please turn it into landscape mode so that you could go full screen on this document. All right, so this is the message, the document that he sent out. It's a schedule. Now, the primary goal of this is to make this whole online education thing a little bit more manageable for all of us. And as you could see, uh, days have been divided into specific uh, subjects, right? So we have Monday and Wednesday, right? Those, that you could see there's my subject over here, English, right? I, my, my course counts as an English course. So what does that mean for us? That means that on Mondays and Wednesdays, I will be posting things. Now, those postings might take multiple forms. It might be in the form of a video lesson where I ask you to complete an assignment. It might be explaining an upcoming assignment. Hold on, let me pause this. It might simply be an assignment, a Google Classroom assignment. Uh, you know, it's, it, but rest assured that Monday and Wednesdays will be the days where I'm posting content. Content that might be a video that you are required to watch, or it might be just an assignment that you have to submit a few days later, all right? I'm going to do my best to try to ensure that if I give an assignment that I'm going to give you at least a couple of days to get that turned in, all right? And you could see how this is divided as far as the other subjects goes, right? Tuesdays and Thursdays, these are the classes that will be uh, doing, doing work, right? So, you know, as far as managing this goes for you, right? You need to know as a student, all right, it's Monday. These are all the classes that I need to go to Google Classroom for. All right, it's Wednesday. These are all the classes. It's Tuesday. These are all the classes I need to go to Google Classroom for. And, you know, make sure you're keeping up to date. I'd still check in anyway. Now, what else? If you take a look at the bottom of this document, towards the bottom of this page, actually, it gives us a Friday. And as far as Friday goes, uh, I will be, again, abiding by this uh, from 11.15 a.m. to 12 p.m. I will make sure to I will make sure to be in front of my computer at I, I'll even I think have a Google class uh, no a Google meet 
hangout session going and you can find that join link on my Google Classroom. And if you have questions, then you're gonna come in. Now, uh, I know that in the last uh, office hours that we've had, some people are just popping in to say hi, but it's really important that these uh, sessions that will take place on Friday, where I'll be in for 40, 45 minutes like that, uh, it's, I really wanna make it as focused on work as possible. So if, if you wanna just say hi, that's gonna be something that you'll do on a Thursday, for example. But if you have, if you need extra help, that's when you're going to want to stop in. And as you can see over here, uh, as it says on this document, Friday will serve as an extra help day to, uh, to provide support for your children, right? Uh, and an opportunity for your children to have additional time to submit assignments with the guidance of their teachers. So if it's gonna be late for some reason and you wanna make sure, you know, that, I don't know, this is a way for you to just keep in contact with me. But I want to treat Friday as an extra help day. Okay, it also says to remind you know, children to sign into their Google Classrooms and account for all of their classes, even phys ed. This is an important part of this document here. Uh, the New York State Governor Cuomo has ordered schools to remain closed until April 15th, 2020. All right, so just you know, be aware of that if you haven't been aware, and who knows, we'll have to wait as that date gets closer to see what happens next. So what does this mean for the office hours that I established last week? Well, some adjustments. Uh, first of all, uh, they, my office hour, hours are going to resume on Thursday. There won't be office hours tomorrow. But as far as office hours resuming on Thursday at, and from that point forward, Tuesdays and Thursdays, please keep in mind that those sessions are not mandatory. Those courses here, take, those are the priority for you to quote unquote attend, right? And to pay attention to. But if you have the time and if you want to talk about work and if you, if you want to just pop in, I am going to continue to make myself available on Tuesdays and Thursdays starting next week. I'll, I will be in on Thursday this week, but not tomorrow, not Tuesday, right? So, uh, but I'm going to change the time frame here. Uh, I don't think it's going to be necessary for me to do it for two hours. We will have a one hour time slot and I'm going to say for both classes you can pop in, right? And that is most likely as of now going to be from 11 a.m. till noon. Although that's subject to change, right? Everything is up in the air. We're all trying our best here to figure this stuff out. It's first time for all of us, right? And so we have to be adaptable. It's a good thing. Humans are relatively adaptable, I've noticed. All right, and all right, we just gotta keep pushing on. So as far as work goes, and I hope that makes sense with the uh, online office hours, right? Starting Thursday, I'll be meeting for one hour, probably from 11 a.m. till noon, Tuesdays and Thursdays. I will be posting assignments or content on Mondays and Wednesdays, okay? I think that's clear. If it's not, just shoot me a text. Sometimes when you ask me a question though, I, I have to confess this, sometimes when you ask me a question, like through Remind or you post an attachment to a, an assignment, like a little comment, it's clear that you haven't been watching my videos. You gotta watch these videos. This is my primary mode of instruction here. So please make sure that you're coming to class. This is my class right now, all right? Let's keep that in mind. Uh, now, I wanna also talk about moving forward how I'm going to be doing this, especially with regards to how this applies to our speeches that we're going to be delivering in just one week. One week, speeches will start, right? You have your outline done, your PowerPoint should, or slideshow should be pretty much done. Uh, and now's the time where you need to practice. So we'll be talking about that. There will probably be videos this week about practice. So practice. Remember what I said in a pr prior video, assume I'm going to be choosing you as one of the first presenters. You wanna be ready to go. Okay, so what work should you have done? Well, I kind of just went over it. Uh, there was a planning sheet that should have been submitted. Please keep in mind that this is the primary uh, way that I'm taking attendance is, are you submitting work to me? Also, if you attend a uh, office hours or if we're in constant contact with each other, that's going to also count as attendance. But get those assignments in, right? Because they will uh, eventually be counting towards your overall grade. So you should have submitted your uh, planning and prepar uh, preparation 
worksheet for the speech. From there, you should have done the outline. I walked you through how to do that. And I also told you to get started on that uh, slideshow. You, that should be pretty much done. What else? Well, right now, do today actually, uh, Monday the 30th of March 2020, is another assignment where I had you evaluate pass uh, sample student speeches, right? Uh, you know, something like five or six speeches or something, maybe seven? I don't know, some of them were super short and everything. So, you know, you, you were supposed to choose two speeches, uh, one that you thought was good, one that you thought was okay, and do a write-up for each of those. Uh, you should also have notes on the other speeches. Wait, notes, are you taking notes on all of this? Please, uh, just a. Just a, a little warning here, the assignment that I'm going to be announcing at the end of this video is for you to send me an image of your notes on this video. Okay, so uh, you should have taken notes on those speeches and you should have completed two evaluation sheets and submitted those. And I see that I'm getting notifications like crazy. Submitted, submitted late, submitted, submitted with comment. Let me just uh, really quickly address the fact that some of you are submitting your assignments and attaching a comment to it. Uh, if that comment is here, I'm sorry, it's late, okay, whatever. But if it's a comment where you don't understand something or, or you need feedback quickly, Please don't use that as the way that you're contacting me. Remember, the very best way to keep in contact with me so that we can maintain a correspondence is through Remind. It is the easiest and quickest way, less clicking, right? Less time in front of a computer in order to get back to you. So just like, you know, so if you're confused and you're stuck, don't, don't contact me through Google Classroom in that way. Just shoot me that text message through Remind, please, all right? All right, so we just talked about the new schedule. We talked about assignments that you should have submitted, and now we need to get into that part where we talk about the speeches that are coming up within a week. A week, you're gonna start delivering speeches. We're gonna be having classes. Let's talk about this. My cat likes to take her toy mice and drown them in her water bowl. She throws them too. Okay, so how are we gonna do this? All right, uh, I've been giving it a lot of thought and First of all, let me say that I'm open to hear what you have to say. You know, for all I know, you have some ideas and you have some recommendations and they can really help me out. So please let me know what you think. Uh, you know, feel free, right? Feel free to give me ideas. If you see that I'm saying something and, and, and you've got a workaround, if I feel like I'm stuck or you got a, an idea that might work out even better, please share that with me. I would really appreciate it. Now, as far as our speeches go, right, this course requires that you deliver speeches to an audience. And to me, that's what this class is all about. It's you preparing a speech and delivering it to your classmates. How do we do that? How do we do that in this type of a situation? My goal in particular is to preserve live presentations, right? Actual interactions. In the same way that we had done for our previous speeches in the classroom, right? Where you are kind of called up and it's your turn and we're all watching it happen live. And then after you're done, we can ask some questions and I could provide some feedback, I could critique you, and I could hear what the audience also has to say with regards to their observations and their insight, right? I want to preserve that. So how do I, how do, I do that? Well, I played around with a bunch of things in my head and, you know, some videos that that are out there on YouTube are clearly professors who have just told their students to record themselves and make sure that they have a little bit of an audience and then to share those videos. I'm not crazy about that because to me that isn't authentic, authentic interaction. To me, that's you videoing yourself and it's not live. Right? 
it, let me give you an example. I'm doing this video, and if I mess up right now, I could start over. You can't start over when you're giving a speech in public. You can't say, wait, can I, can, 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 can I start over? No, you can't start over, right? Part of doing this task is if you kind of fumble, you recover, right? You recover, and you do that in real time. So as far as the videos go, I am going to reserve those as a backup, right? Let's say something happens where for whatever reason, a student tries to make our online synchronous sessions where we're actually having speeches take place, but they can't make it for whatever reason. There's a lot going on in the world right now in case you haven't heard, right? And, and then I guess as a last resort, you know, maybe with point deductions, I don't know, I don't know, I haven't figured this out, maybe not, right? But as a last resort, your way to deliver a speech would be to video record yourself, make sure there's an audience there, and to send that video to me, and it'll be sent to a f uh, other students, and then we will critique you and evaluate you in that way. But that's not the way I want it to happen. The way I want it to happen is going to be through Google Meet, and I want to talk about that specifically, right? So uh, Google Meet will preserve that actual interaction, that live quality, the 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 ability for us all to be present and witness the speech as it happens in real time. So what I'll do is I will have times arranged and days arranged where we will meet as a class. This will be both of my public speaking courses meeting together. So be aware of that. I don't expect everyone to make it right for every single session but I do out of the two classes expect for us to have at, at least an adequate audience of around 20 students right which is what we have in our classes so between those two classes we should have enough that would constitute an adequate audience so we I, I will as I have in the past set send out a presentation schedule a order of presentations and that's going to, going to be coming out within a few days so be aware and again imagine you are first or second or third or fourth or fifth imagine you're going to be going on the first day you want to anticipate that there's like a very good chance that you will go on that first day so you should be practicing so what I'll do is I'll set and I'll, I'll arrange a time and a date and again these these presentations will take place starting next Monday you'll have the weekend to iron things out and to practice but what we'll do is we will meet at a designated time through Google Meet and that's how and we'll have class and the class will constitute you giving speeches right now there are complications though and I've uh, again I've thought through these too I've had to think through these one of the main complications that I'm anticipating is how do how do you present so that we're all we're all able to look at you but that we could also see your slideshow hmm now a few things came to mind. One of them is, if you're familiar with Google Meet, there is a present mode, right? A presentation mode where we are able to look at your computer screen if you're the one who's presenting. That doesn't work, though. It doesn't. Because now we're looking at your slideshow and not looking at you. And we need to be looking at both of those at the same time. So what do we do? I've thought about this, all right? So uh, one of the features on Google Meet is a pin feature. If you notice, when you're looking at someone's uh, screen, right, their face, their, their icon, uh, depending on if they have their camera on or off, there is there is a actual, like a little thumbtack or like a, a push pin, right? And you could pin somebody to the screen so that they're kind of there permanently. Now, if you're presenting, we are going to pin you. Okay, so that means you will be what everyone is looking at. Everyone should have their mics off. Maybe, you know, I don't know if they should have their video cameras off or not, but I'll think about that. But while you're presenting, you will be pinned. And that means that we're all focused on you, right? What about the slideshow? Well, it's my understanding that we can pin more than one person. I think you could pin multiple but what we will do for the purposes of these speeches is we will pin two people 
And this is going to take some planning and arranging on your part. And you're going to have to team up with someone or maybe even as a backup, team up with two people. So what will happen prior to the presentation is you will share your slideshow with a classmate. That classmate will swear to you that they will be present when you are presenting. And then the two people that will be pinned to the meet screen will be you, the presenter, and the person who will have your slideshow, and they will be in presentation mode. That way, we could look at both, both you and the slideshow at the same time. We won't even be looking at the person who has your slideshow. We'll just be looking at your slideshow. They will be in presentation mode. And you'll be able to say, okay, next slide, right? If you've really planned this out with your classmate, they will know when for you to move, when, they will know when to move on to the next slide. You can give them some prompts, some keywords from your outline where they'll, they'll be waiting up for them. And then when they, they hear you say something, they'll know, okay, next slide, right? And yes, it's gonna be all over the place. It's gonna be messy. There will be complications and that's totally fine. The important thing is that we are pushing through and that we're all trying to do this and we're learning about this whole online instruction thing together. We're making it work. We're making the best of it. So as far as the dates go with regards to when we will meet, well, those are most likely going to happen on, according to Dr. Thomas's schedule, right? Mondays and Wednesdays. But I'm thinking that, again, this is all still being formulated in my mind, but I'm thinking that I will have a two hour block session set up where students can be present, not just for their presentations, but also for other presentations. And students can be there to get their attendance marked, right? And take part in the interaction and you can ask questions and you could do the evaluations. So we will have, you know, like a from a 10 a.m. to a 12 uh, noon uh, block where you can pop in for, I would say, at least 45 minutes to witness some speeches and you know, if you're delivering, you'll be there, right? So if you're delivering the speech, then obviously you'll be there. All right, is this making sense? I think it's making sense, right? What else do I have to say? Let me think about that. Don't go anywhere. Just wait, wait, I have to think. So I think this is coming together for the most part. Again, it will probably be messy, right? There will be some obstacles, some road bumps, no road blocks, maybe some road bumps. We could get over those together, especially. So as of now, what I'm thinking is that by Wednesday, I will have out to you, probably posted to my Google Classroom, the order of presentations, all right? Thursday, keep in mind that I'm going to be having my online office hours it will be probably from 11 to noon. If you see that you're one of the first to present and you wanna to talk to me about that and make sure that everything's ironed out and good to go, that will be a good time to pop in, right? And as far as an upcoming assignment goes, well, the priority is to practice, obviously. It doesn't matter whether you're going first or last, right? you should be practicing. You should definitely be working on your speech, delivering it to yourself, maybe delivering it to, an, uh, to some family members, maybe video recording yourself and watching that video over to critique yourself, right? You wanna be doing that. You wanna do it if you can with your slideshow in front of you. You wanna go through the slideshow while you're delivering the speech to yourself. So practice, 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 right? Uh, as far as assignments go for this video, I think I gave you a hint earlier, right? Uh, I want to see that you have notes on this. I said a lot here. Are you keeping up with it? Do you have this all down in some place like a notebook? Prove it, please. So by Wednesday, by this coming Wednesday, right? Today, again, is the 30th of March. By Wednesday, I want you to submit to me through Google Classroom your notes for this video. And on Wednesday, again, I will give you the order of presentations. I might have another video. I might have another assignment. I don't know. We're all figuring this out and we're all doing our best. And I just, I just wanna thank you for that. And let me just talk to you about 
those of you who are really give, doing your best. Uh, I appreciate it so much. I'm lucky to have students like you. I really am. Uh, the, I've heard from many of you already. There have been a majority of you who have been submitting your assignments. That is good. Keep doing that. But there are some of you who have not submitted much or anything and who haven't reached out to me in any way. Uh, I can't stress enough that First of all, in order for me to be teaching you, I need to know that we are in contact with each other. I need to know that you're learning. If you're stuck, I need to know so that I can help you. But so I don't care how you reach out to me. Remember, remind text messages are the best way, but please reach out to me. Uh, continue to submit your assignments. But I'm thinking of a handful of students in particular who I haven't either heard from or received anything from. And I want to know what's up with you. I want to know what to expect. I want to know what kind of a situation you're in. I want to know if there's anything I can do to help. So please, please, please reach out to me, reach out to me, reach out to me. We need to, we need to stay in contact even though we're all isolated, right? All right. I think that's going to be it for today. Get me those notes for this video by Wednesday. Tomorrow's fine too. Right? If you're watching it tonight, if you're watching this video tonight, then you might as well just do the notes and shoot them to me through Google Classroom. But I've said enough. So uh, take care. I will talk to you later. And uh, please be safe, be healthy, and look out for each other. Be kind to each other. Stay home. Don't interact with people. Avoid public gatherings. Just stay home. Okay? Peace, everybody. Take care.